So that's 2012 Mazda 5 and uh, as you can see the driver side passenger door is not closing. It goes all the way out. No problems. But when you try to close it, uh, let's see. It just stops like that. Well, for me, the problem, I see the rail here on the back where it's sliding. And there is a little two there is a little piece that is welded. I don't know whatever you want to call it. It's a two piece rail. It's a little bit higher than the rail itself. So what's happening is actually hitting right there. The cause of it is right there. There's a new hinge. There is a part number for the hinge. It's called a roller. As you can see, this roller is two part. There is a bearing and there is an outside, uh, I don't know, it looks like a tire, like plastic. That piece fell off. I don't know how it fell off, nothing happened specifically, it just fell off. So there is the glue, the whole door, instead of being like this, it's actually like this. So when it slides, the back end is not high enough and it hits that thing. Let's see if I can show it. Uh. To rotate it see right there it's hitting the top of the hinge the roller is hitting right there so the replacement is not super complicated it's all you need a 12 mil uh, wrench preferably ratcheting and uh, just a regular Phillips. And there is the back of your car. So first thing, you need a just a regular Phillips screwdriver. Right there, right there. Two screws. And remove the tail light. Once the two screws are gone, once the two screws are removed, you just pull the tail light out. As you can see on the other end, is just a little clip that holds it. You can remove the light bulbs. Just makes it a little bit easier for you. Now with tail light removed. You can actually see, see right there, that plastic piece fell off the hinge. So it's riding on the bearing itself. So now it's a little too low. So the removal is pretty simple. You just, uh, one Phillips or a 10 mil, you remove this bolt. Loosen with the wrench, Lo loosen this one, I think it's a 12 mil, and then remove the two nuts right there, two bolts right there. Ratcheting wrench is the easiest one to work with. Uh. 
you don't need to completely remove this bracket you just need to loosen it and then move it up and then just remove the two bolts so just wiggle out the bracket and it comes out as you can see slightly worn out huh? There's something wrong with top roller and the bottom one is messed up we actually tried sliding the bottom roller back on but it kept falling off so we decided to go with the replacement piece Uh, they're side by side, new versus old. Installation is just basically in reverse. Slide the new bracket in and reattach it to the door. I think I need to put the camera down for that though. Oh, well, that's it, the two bolts are in. Just re tighten them. Retighten this uh, quarter support bracket. Yeah. Once you tighten everything back up, reconnect the tail light, slide the tail light in. Well, check your door works. Magic, right? Make sure you don't miss those two alignment pins when you put the light back on. And like this, that's it, you're done. The whole process may be 10 minutes. Okay, hope it helps somebody.